So you've made you've made statements yeah. that I have no reason to believe. I'm not a Shia. I'm not a Sunni. I don't actually care. Okay. Wait, let me finish. Like, I'm not a Shia, I'm not a Sunni. I don't actually care about who's right between you because I actually think fundamentally you're both wrong. So my point is that I've got no vested interest in defending the Shia position. I've got no vested interest in, let me finish, defending the Sunni position. And as I hear your criticism of Shia Islam, what I heard was, what I heard was um, conjecture, what I heard was pronouncement, what I didn't hear was evidence, and what I didn't hear was a criteria. Okay. Because if you remember when we went back, when we started this conversation, we were started talking about the Christian state, and how a Christian passes authority forward in time, and how I said one of the reasons why I reject Islam is because you have no criteria to identify your scholars. And, you know, in 20 minutes of conversation, you are yet to present me with any criteria apart from Ijma, and I've demonstrated to you that Ijma, Ijma is not um, a, a sound principle to decide what's true or what's false. So, so uh, let, let me let there are. Um, let's go back to the Shia Sunni thing because I didn't give you the criteria. The criterion was what are the reputation of the people that conveyed these reports. And but when we look at these stories, we see that those are. No, they were known liars. They were no. What you see, what you're giving is the Sunni are saying that the Shia hadith structure, the the, the Shia isnad, are known liars. The Shia are saying exactly the same about no, no, Aisha. These are from Shia books. No, no, no. These are from Shia books. It doesn't matter if you if you even if you're quoting Shia books. Shia do the same when it comes to the Sunnis. They quote Sunni hadiths to make their arguments against Sunni Islam. So you're both doing the same thing at one another. Okay. And you're both saying, we can't trust this chain because she's a liar. We can't trust this chain because he's a liar. And look, your own book's evidence that this person's a liar. So as an outsider, there is a criteria. I'm still waiting to hear it because I'm, I'm waiting to I hear. You the criteria. You've, so far, you've given me Ijma yeah. and you've said that known liars. And what I've pointed out to you is that Ijma, i.e. the consensus, is a really bad way to decide what's true because majorities get the truth wrong all of the time. They always get truth wrong all of the time. There's the majority, countless the examples of it. Of the followers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you haven't demonstrated that they have gotten things wrong. I have given you an example, the nation state across the end. Let me finish. Nestle, no, it is Ishma. I'm sorry, you're wrong. You're wrong. Across the entire Islamic world, the Muslim community has accepted the nation state. That is Ijma. Okay, when you are defeated, Show me a caliphate. when you are colonized and defeated. Show me a caliphate. Like, oh, that's ridiculous. Show me a caliphate. People don't have the power to make a caliphate. Why not? They're militarily defeated. By what who? Are you talking about? By the colonizers, but the Western. No, European stop blaming people. the West for your own problems. The, the Islamic world has been free now for 80 years. But yeah. the, it's, it's, it's free. It's, There's it's, no Israel. No, no, so, so Israel dominates the whole of the Islamic world. Israel that's is your, that, that's, is, by so your anti-Semitism is coming out now. Israel. Anti-Semitism. Is that you've just said? That Israel is stopping. No so, so Israel is dominating the whole of the Islamic world. You mean, so Israel dominates Indonesia. Left. The colonizers just left. Does Indonesia does is Indonesia dominated by Israel? All these. Countries. Answer my question. Yeah, yeah. Is They're is Indonesia? By US debt. Is, 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 is so so it's all the Westerners' fault that the Muslims haven't created you, you a caliphate. You don't think that the entire Middle East is dominated by the West right now? No. You think they're free? Iran is definitely you free. You don't think that the, the, the rulers are... Uh, Iran is definitely free. Afghanistan is definitely free. You don't think... If it was up to me, we'd be bombing Afghanistan to dust. But right now, we've got weak governments that allow Islamist terrorists to dominate Afghanistan. Afghanistan is free of Western domination. Afghanistan is not free. Their, half of their money was stolen by the American government. Half of that money was American to, be, half of that money was American to begin with. Huh. I don't know that. The amount of money, know. the amount of money. Sure. But, my, but my point is... No, my, no, no, you can't just say a claim like that. So, no, no, so, no, no, no. But like, you've been no. doing that the whole conversation. The, the point is across, the, 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 but across the entire Islamic world, yeah. Muslims have accepted the nation state. No. That is Ijma. No, no, no. And where's show your evidence? Me, show me scholars. No, well, you can't say where's your evidence. You're the one putting the claim forward. So my evidence, fine. I will yeah. now give you the evidence. Yeah. The evidence is... 
that we have. I'm, I'm going to give you the evidence. Okay, the yeah. evidence is that objectively and indisputably, yeah. we have the existence of nation states across the entire Islamic world that are being paid for by Muslims, staffed by Muslims, surviving. governed by Muslims, and, and perpetuated by Muslims. That's just survival. So, th so this is, I'm, I'm lying, this is just a white man's That's lie, survival. is it? Is That's it a survival. white man's lie? That's survival. Is it a fact? The fact is that we have reality right now. Is it a fact? We have a, we have a it, are, are any of those points a lie or are they true? Or, and I'm just been asking you to be honest with yourself. Are any of the points that I've made mm. factual or wrong? Do you want me to make them again? You're saying that the rulers of these nation states are maintaining their own nation states. I am saying that a nation state can only exist by the consent of the people. If the people don't want a nation... Yes, of course. If, don't you see all the, the dictators? In the, are, aren't they all dictators in the Middle East? All of them. Different? All of them are dictators. So we yes, agree. Are we, do we agree the three, Taliban are dictators? Should we overthrow the Taliban because they're dictators? Like, I, I'm not here to defend the Taliban. I'm talking about are they dictators? North Africa. Are they dictators? I'm talking about North I'm Africa. asking you, are the Taliban dictators? I don't know about the Taliban. You don't know, but you know about the rest? I know about the North African states. Okay. Because these are the ones that were colonized. Why yeah. are we talking about Afghanistan if it's so clear to you? That the area of Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Palestine... Afghanistan uh, wasn't colonized. Uh, Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Morocco... Afghanistan wasn't colonized. Why are you going to Afghanistan? Afghanistan was not colonized. Did I say that Afghanistan was colonized? Neither was Saudi Arabia. Why okay, Saudi so Arabia what? nation state? It wasn't colonized. I mean, look, you're ignoring the entire uh, Syria, the entire area of Sham and Iraq. Yeah. And you're ignoring the entire North African... Uh, states. Let, let's give it to you that these are all because dictators. All of these, no, I'm sorry, all of these were part of the Ottoman Caliphate, yeah. and the Ottoman Caliphate was beaten by the European uh, Thanks West. Thanks, Peter. All right, and I mean, what's, what's the point of this? Why, why, why? Thanks be to God in the middle of my comment. I don't see why. Because it was a good thing that the Ottoman no, Caliphate no, was just, destroyed. Just, just, you shouldn't really interrupt like that. But you've been inter you, you've interrupted me countless I times. I didn't interrupt in such you've a way. You've got it on camera, bro. You've been interrupting me countless times. But when you interrupt, it's okay. It's okay. You have to be fair. Then yeah, be I'm... fair. Okay. Shall we time so it? Then, then it's not about timing. It's about the inserting some comment in the middle of the... I'm praising God for a good thing. That's not a bad thing to do. No. We, look, we, we're trying to make things objective and we're not trying to, you know, punch each other below the belt. I'm not know? punching you below the belt. Yeah, no, that's, that was clear like that. Like, I'm saying I'm saying something in the middle of a sentence here like, oh yeah, thank God for that. Like, I am I am thanking God for the destruction I, you know, of the caliphate. Okay, you know that I stand on the position of keeping a caliphate. Yeah, of course. So why would you, why would you say, okay, thank God for, you know... Because you said a good thing. I never said anything bad about your system. Yes, you From have. the beginning. No, 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 no. From the beginning, I said I am with the Christian autocracy in the UK. I never said autocracy, but yeah. Okay. Oh, no, you did. You did. You said okay. you were in favor of that. You said you would like to see it. I mean, yeah. uh, so it's not reciprocal the way you're talking to me. Right? No, you're right. The, so the, that's, caliphate, that's the caliphate is not something that I ever want to see emerge. And it, the thing is, my point to you is, and the, the point that you're wrestling with and you're sidestepping, is the fact no, that... No, I have to take that back so that I can continue my argument. Let's take what back? Take the... Uh, thank God for the I'm not going to take... The I'm, I'm, I, I am grateful that God destroyed the caliphate. Okay, but at least you should admit that it's not something you should throw in the middle of my phone. No, there's nothing wrong with saying that. No, no, no I mean, there's nothing I can talk to you about. Well, I mean, do you, do, if, if, there, I, if, I, if an oppressive... My argument is clear. If, if, are States, you, are you, do you States, thank God that colonialism ended? Yes, I thank God for the communism. But it right. The caliphate the was a colonialist <laughs> state in Eastern Europe yeah. that occupied Christian lands, desecrated Christian churches, yeah. and persecuted Christians. I, I, its destruction was an entirely good thing. Okay. So you can thank God when colonialism ends. I thank God that oppression ends. But it's not ends. okay. And I, I, and I, I thank, thank and I thank ends. and I thank God the oppression and the oppression of the caliphate if ended. If the majority of the caliphate was oppression, then it was. I thank God that it ended. Thanks be to God. Okay. Then we agree. But I I don't I, I'm not in the position to judge that the caliphate was made 
was mostly oppressive. As a Christian, I can definitely say the caliphate okay. was oppressive. Okay, then that's what we're that's where we uh, disagree. Ah, we, and that's another debate, and I don't. Uh, oh, and that's fine. We're not we're not into that. But I wanna... the point is now the north. No, I'm sorry, the North African states. Yeah. And Sham and Iraq, all yeah. these were were colonized. Yeah. Right. And all of these are still under are they? domination by the West. Yeah. Not really. Financially. Um, like uh, all of these liberal states, where did this liberalism come from? Yeah, you know, it, came it came from, came Europe. from Europe. Yeah, of course. So the rulers are not governing according to Islamic uh, yeah. rules. And, I mean, but the reality Tunisia, is, for example, is completely secular. But the reality Algeria, is, uh, but the reality is, if you look but, at but the people, I'm sorry, I was still making the point. The people, um, the people are not in line with what's going on in the, in the ruling. Where's country. your evidence that the majority of Muslims want a caliphate? Oh, no, no, I'm not going to go there. Like, the majority of Muslims want to caliphate, but I'm right. saying that the majority of talking, Muslims, they want some kind of... But we're uh, talking about Ijma, remember? Yeah, the majority so, of Muslims agree that a kind of union amongst Muslims is better than splitting. Right, so so the reality is, objectively, objectively, you know, from a, as Christians, we believe that it's what you do that decides what you believe, not what you say. People can say all kinds of things. We're defeated, man. No, no, no. Uh, when you're overpowered, what do you do? Uh, no, no, no. So, but the point is, yeah. the, the vast, and, and it's coming back to this point of Ijma, because mm. you gave two criterion, and they're both very disputable. So yeah. far, we've only got two criterion yeah. to identify the scholars. Mm. The first one is Ijma, but there is no Ijma amongst Muslims about who those scholars are, because mm. Shia have different scholars to Sunni. Shia are minority. So, so, again, you notice how you're interrupting, but I'm not complaining about it. I'm just pointing out to it's you that you are also interrupting so yeah, please yeah. don't but complain if I interrupt you. So, so you know, please do consider your own words. Uh -huh. So in terms of Ijma, yeah. we've got no consensus amongst Muslims about who the scholars should be. And we have no consensus amongst Muslims mm -hmm. about what government they, they should follow. Mm -hmm. And actually the consensus that undisputably does exist is the idea yeah. of a nation state. And that is across the Islamic world, including countries like Afghanistan and Iran that are both militantly opposed to America but have accepted the borders around them including the borders of Pakistan including the borders of Russia and they have agreed to the nation-state framework which means that we've got Ijma on something that you're <laughs> saying is wrong which is the idea of the nation-state if they had so you're so according to the prophet my community will yeah. never have ijma on something that is false yeah. we have ijma on the nation state you think that that is false and so i have demonstrated that the majority <laughs> can be wrong i'm agreeing with you that it is wrong as a muslim to believe in the nation state yeah. but the fact is most muslims do agree with the nation state that, the demonstration has some holes in it um First of all, you're talking about defeated nations that are survive in survival mode. Excuses. Mm, excuses. Yes, it's an excuse. The fact is, most so, Muslims are committed to the nation states that they belong to. That's a fact. No, no, that's survival. No, it's a fact. That's survival. Are, 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 are Muslims paying taxes to their nation states? You're forced to. Are they working for those nation states? You're forced to. Are they defending and fighting That's for those nation survival. states? Are they fighting for That's those nations? So, so the thing is, you don't want to recognize a blatant truth in front That's of you. That's survival. I've dim Let, let's try and move the debate forward. No, uh, no, you're not. I mean, what, what about what my reply? Why are you ignoring it? Right, why, so why let me deal with survival because yeah. what I'm showing to you, okay, right? Good. So I'll, I'll just read and then I'll address your survival claim. Yeah. Okay. okay? So what I'm trying to demonstrate to you, mm. both by the Muslim nation states that are allies to the West, like Turkey, yeah. and Muslim states that are belligerent to the West, like Iran and Afghanistan, is that across the Islamic world, there is a consensus to accept mm. the nation state, which we both recognize doesn't square up with Islamic teaching, mm. which demonstrates, let me finish, oh, yeah. which demonstrates that Ijma, there is a yeah. consensus on something that yeah. is wrong, mm. and Muhammad said my community would never have Ijma on something that is wrong, mm. thus demonstrating my claim yeah. that that was a bad teaching, yeah. it is a bad way to decide okay. what's true, yeah. and therefore we need to look for a better way, an okay. un-Muhammadan way, okay. a way that is closer to Christ's okay. way. Now, okay. you <laughs> argued this is about okay. survival, yeah. right? That was your counterpoint. Mm. 
But that basically means that these Muslims have accepted that the best way to survive yeah. is not to re-establish a caliphate, yeah. but to support the nation states that they belong to. So in other words, the solution for survival is not Islam, but Western philosophy. Okay, the problem with that is... Remember, you said survival. Yeah, I said survival, and you really didn't address it. Oh, people can make their own mind up. See, the problem is, you are talking as if uh, there is choice. Um, and you can say this is us being weak and making excuses. But in both cases, it doesn't represent uh, acceptance. There's a difference between me uh, succumbing to a sin and accepting that this sin is uh, it's okay, it's uh, halal, it's acceptable. Do you, do you get the point? Yeah, I get the point. So most of the Islamic nations, I mean, everyone knows it. everyone knows their their own sins, okay? Yeah. But when you look at the state of the Islamic Islamic nation. Um, you see it weak, you see it uh, behind technologically and all these aspects, right? Yeah. And every person between him and himself, he yeah. knows that he is part of responsibility. Yeah. Right? And every person knows his own sins. And yeah. no one will ever tell you, you know, some people will, but no one will, should tell you that, okay, no, these sins are really acceptable and... Uh, Drinking is not haram and fornication is not haram. Did you see the difference? I get what you're saying, but but the point is. But the same thing with this. If you if you uh, sorry nation. Uh, yeah, but if you go to these scholars, if you go to Al Hazar University, there are scholars. Uh, the one in Egypt. Sorry, maybe I'm. Yeah, Arabic's not my first language, you know. Um, but if you go to that university, there are scholars in there that would justify the existence of the Egyptian state, and they do. Wow. Now, my point to you is, now yeah. I, I want to try and move this conversation forward because we, 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 we're getting a bit stuck on this particular topic. Because okay. remember, it's only one small facet of a much broader discussion. Okay. Right? Because, uh, and I think we've t done Ijma to death. Like, people can come to their own conclusions. No, no, we haven't done it to death. Well, well, well I think we've done it enough for this no. conversation. I want to try and move the conversation the forward. Of whether the apostolic, uh, what did you call it? Apostolic uh, succession. Yeah, is a better model than. Yeah, so um, let, let's come to that. So, 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 firstly, and, and the second point is yeah. that there is no scholarly ijma. Sco Muslim scholars in this country, as we've already talked about with the YouTube scholars, and they're all calling one another out, as you know, and that's in English, so I've seen plenty of them do it. Yeah. Um, you know, These are not scholars. Right? Some of them are. Some of them are. Well, I, I, maybe you need to watch more YouTubers. Some of them are scholars. Some of them, like, there's a, there's a mufti. You know, he's a caddy, like, well, a mufti, sorry. You're like, and a mufti yeah, as people a... People call themselves things. Yeah, uh, of course, and this is my point, is that in, in, in Islam, yeah. in Islam, because you don't have any criterion to discover which scholar to follow, and I'm still waiting for it, yeah. right? Because you don't have a criterion, Muslims follow different scholars okay. and come to different conclusions. Mm. Biggest example, for example, is being the Shia and the Sunni. Yeah. But they're even within the Sunnis, there's disagreement. The followers of Mufti, I think he's called Abu Layth. I might be getting his name wrong or yeah, mixing him up with I've someone heard else. That, yeah. I mean, I might be mixing him up with someone else because yeah. I sometimes do. I know I've, I've tried to use him as an example before, and I sometimes get his yeah. name wrong. But you know, they broke oh, into his oh, house. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? They kicked his door in. Yeah, I don't know that story, but right. I know that he he's, said some he's notorious things. because he said that, that what Palestinians should do is they should leave and go into a Muslim country. Oh yeah. Yeah. He said that. Yeah, 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 and this caused, and some so some people kicked his door in and terrorized his family. <laughs> you know, I don't know why that's yeah, funny. That, that's there's bad. little kids that were being, yeah, you of know. Course. No, that's but 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 the point is, yeah. the point is that um, different Muslim scholars. He has his following, yeah. but he also has those that are willing to smash in his doors and terrorize his kids. Yeah, and, and smash his windows. Yeah. Now. Clearly, there is no agreement amongst Muslims about, yeah. even amongst Sunni Muslims, yeah. about which scholars to follow. Are you a Salafi? Mm. Well, I mean, I'm asking you, are you a Salafi or an Ashari? Uh, oh, come on. Now that's, that's a going to go to another discussion. I'm, but no, I'm not, don't have a title like that. Okay, I'm fair enough. Okay. Right, right. 
and so so the the point is I've asked you of the, the Ashari and the Salafi have very they're different the same, actually, they're not the they have very different understandings of the attributes of Allah no 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 that's not true yeah but, uh, but the story is what no I'm not sure if you're interested but uh, the story is uh, the Ash'ari came as um, the Ash'ari himself was in his household as he was growing up yeah um, his family was a Mu'tazilite yeah right and he was I think his uncle, from his maternal uncle, or uh, his, his uh, yeah. step step yeah, father. Yeah, I know. I and then he and then he swapped out of the Mutazilite exactly. philosophy. Yeah, so I know the story. Very good. Yeah, I'm told you. I keep trying yeah. to tell you. I'm not wow, a novice. That's, that, no, I keep really trying to tell you. I'm not a novice. Yeah, I like my, that. My, my, I like point, that. My, my point. My point. What I'm saying is, he came back through uh, this. Yeah. But, Salafi, if you will, if you but, want to name it that. But he didn't... Through reason. But he didn't... Because that's what appeals to the Mu'tazilah. Yeah, but he didn't teach the idea that the Ashari school of, of mm. Kalam, yeah. of theology, mm. doesn't teach that the hand of Allah should be taken literally as a hand. They teach uh. that it's a metaphor to something else. Whereas the Salafi affirm that the hand truly is a hand, even though we don't know or can think or imagine what I, that I hand is. I didn't go that deep, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know of the, the details. Of are you aware that I'm sure you're aware that Sahih al Bukhari was considered a deviant in his own lifetime? No. Right. So go and look into the life of Sahih al Bukhari. Oh, Sahih. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I say I'm talking about the book al Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Go and look into the life of al Bukhari. In his own lifetime, yeah. he was considered a deviant. And now he's your biggest scholar. I mean, okay. How do you how do you explain? How do you explain that his book was Great. accepted? Great. I'm, I'm going. I, I will gladly explain. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so the reason why it was accepted is because Islam has changed over time, yeah. and a different generations of Muslims, as Islam has changed, have yeah. adopted this scholar and that scholar, and 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 formed around these scholars, and. So in, in Bukhari's own lifetime, he was rejected as a deviant. But you go a hundred years after Bukhari's death, and his book becomes becomes uh, uh, a, a, a major work of hadith. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly, about, it doesn't, does it? What about the? You're totally right. It doesn't make any sense. What about the scholarly succession that we have? Exactly, that's my point. No, you, no, but what about the scholarly? Exactly, succession? that's my point. So Sahih al Bukhari being considered a deviant in his own lifetime. Look, demonstrates. We don't, we don't speak of books. It's not that. That's not what we do. Things. Shall I give you a contrast in Christianity to sort no, of illustrate I'm just the difference? In, in the Islamic school of thought, in the Islamic tr uh, discipline, in the Islamic tradition, yeah. we don't just pick up books that were hundred years ago and we glorify them suddenly. There are there are chains of narrations and chains of teachings and chains of scholarly succession. And, and I'm saying to you that actually that's exactly what you've done. Which is why, which is why, which is why you have three main branches of Islam. I forget what the third one's called. You got the Sunni, you got the Shia, exactly the, and then you've got one in. I think it's in Oman or Yemen. They're a third group, um, and these 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 different Muslims have literally done what yeah. you say Muslims don't do, which is they that they books exactly. Which is why, which is talking. why, which is why the Shia reject the Sunni books. And the Sunnis reject the Shia books. Yes, you do. We've already talked about no, the no, fact I'm that you've sorry. got different hadiths. How is hadith. that related to people who we don't pick up books and we start glorifying them? How is that so, related? So, I mean, I mean, I don't know what you heard when I said glorifying them. What I'm talking about is that a like, consensus emerged yeah. after Bukhari's death yeah. that Bukhari's book is a, a one of the key books of hadith. That consensus yeah. emerged after Bukhari died. Yeah. But if Bukhari in his own lifetime, and you can go and check what I'm saying, Bukhari in his own lifetime was considered a deviant. Considered a deviant by? By the Muslims of his own time and of his own town. Okay, and, then, was, and then what happened? I mean, well, then he died. You know, he, he, it, like, he didn't have any students. He, he, only one student, only one student, yeah. and I think his name is, I'm going to mispronounce it again, Yathabri, Yathabri. He had only one student. No, he had only one student that made a copy. So, let me finish, yeah. let me finish. Obviously, before he was found to be a deviant, he had students. Then when he was, dis then when he was found to be a deviant, yeah. only one student stuck with him. Yathabri. Yathabri, I might be mispronouncing the name, I That's probably okay. am. Yeah. He was the one that copied Sahih al-Bukhari's work. Yeah. Right? 
every version of Sahih al-Bukhari's work, of which I think there are about six, and they are all different, all of them go back to this one student. And we don't have his book. Okay. What we have is a later book that someone else came in and corrected the grammar on, corrected the Arabic grammar on, and, and you're he... You're talking about hadith. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes. But you're talking about hadith, and hadith is an oral tradition. What I'm talking about is the fact that they had a scholar yeah. that was considered a deviant in his own time, but a hundred years later was considered a the scholar to go to when it comes to hadiths. In other words, who are your scholars changes from generation to generation. I mean, I really have to check that story. I have yeah, please do. Great skepticism towards what you're saying. Fine, go and check it. Go and check it. See if I'm telling you the truth and yeah, come back and talk to me point? about it. Right, so my point to you is, right, so let's do a contrast oh, to Christianity. <laughs> let's do a contrast to Christianity. No, look, Christianity, I'm not interested in getting the contrast of Christianity because... At the, at the beginning, at the beginning, because remember, I re, I, you asked me about the apostolic yeah. succession. You said, well, how do you do that well, in Christianity? Point, I talked about apostolic succession. I have, I have a question, actually. Okay. So, Christianity doesn't have a, a system of law. Uh, Paul, for example, in Galatians chapter 5, yeah. he's telling people that... Uh, when Jesus was the one saying, uh, I only hear, I only came to fulfill the law, not to destroy it. Or yeah. I can't remember the exact wording. Yeah. And then Paul, in the beginning of Galatians chapter 5, says, um, Whoever uh, goes with uh, circumcision yep. uh, has no value for Christ, he has not you know, benefited anything from Christ. And yeah. Uh, you should, if you, if you, if you, if that's your choice, then you should just follow the entire Jewish law, yeah. which is actually what Jesus was saying. Um, but uh, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't circumcise yourself. And those, those people, and he was talking about the people of James, that were actually telling people that Paul was a deviant. Uh, he says There's no evidence people, of that. No, he says men from James. He says it in another part. I can't remember where, but he says men, men from so James. Men came up from Jerusalem is what it says. He said men from James. Gone. That's what I mean. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can listen to Paul Williams. Uh, yeah, has Paul Williams. He's a liar, bro. He's no, just an no, out and out liar. No, no, no. So can I reply no, to I that? Can, say that no. can I reply to that? He you is can, an out and out liar. No, you can't say Paul Williams is a liar. I really can. He's no, an out and out liar. No, 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 Scholarly, no, no, he's a joke. No, no, no. The guy has references for everything. This is very disrespectful. Often misquoted. He's no. often misquoting. He's no. often misquoting. He's misquoted. I'm checking the, I'm he's he, the he's misquoted no, no. N.T. Wright to me. No. He's misrepresented to N.T. Wright I mean, to me. Whatever, anyone can, he I did it to want, my face. I don't know face. what you're talking about. I, don't know I what have direct experience of Paul's ability to misrepresent actual scholarship. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I... He he's very honest, and I don't. I mean, everyone okay. makes mistakes. Let, 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 let's make, move past Paul Williams. No, no, no. I'm not gonna move past it. Like this is not. Uh, so not proper. No, well, not I mean, no, 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 no offense, but like I, 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 I've I've experienced it's him lying to my I face. Just because I named my reference, and it's not just because I named my reference, and he was interviewing someone who is more scholarly in the Bible. And it's not about he Paul hasn't, Williams. He hasn't. In, he is. He's in, all these does. I don't like. I don't like. All he has done. Did. All he has done is interview. No, I don't. Want he's to. interviewed deviants within the church, scholars who are, are liberals within the church, who are rejected Look, by the majority these, of Christians, and then he presents them to you like Christian scholars. What he doesn't tell you is that the scholars he's presenting to you as Christians yeah. are rejected by the vast majority of Christians. They are called heretics. And he's pulling yeah. the wool over your eyes. Yeah. This I is mean, what I'm no, talking that's about. That's what you were talking about. You're telling me about oh, there's no consensus in Islam. So, you, and all so you asked me. You asked me a question. You said you were going to ask me a question, but you didn't ask me a question. You I just was made going a there. So what, what's you the really question? Bothered me with your. I was going there, but so, this is not appropriate way to to even. I'm sorry, but if Paul Williams is is deceiving Muslims by getting no, people who no, are considered no, 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 heretics. Look, presenting no, no. them no, 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 on no, no, their no, channel. The point, no, the point is, okay, 
Have you, have you, do you have a debate with Paul Williams? Have you talked to him? Paul Williams runs from every debate I've tried to have with him. And I've tried to have several with him. I don't believe it. Go and look at SoCo Films. We've got it on camera. Okay, show it to me. Give me a link right go, now. Go, 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 go and look on SoCo Let Films. Look at Paul Williams, SoCo Films. Okay. Go and Sorry. do it, do it now. Paul Sorry. Williams, SoCo Films. You'll, you'll see him running okay. from a debate. Uh, how do you spell that? Uh, SoCo, S-O-C-O. -O. Yeah. And then films. So cool films. Yeah, what is that? It's the YouTube channel that I work with. The YouTube channel you work with. Yeah. And you have some things of, about Paul Williams. In there. Right. Go. Yeah. Go and type Paul Williams. Bob and Paul Williams, and see what comes up. Okay. But I want to come back to the point that you made. Um, you yeah, know. Merchandise on this channel. Uh, JC does. I don't. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm going to address your oh, point. Sorry. I'll, I'll address it for anyone who's watching, and I hope you're, you're no, going to I'm listen not, to what I'm not interested in being part of this, actually. I don't like it. So. That's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair enough. But I, 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 I've been I, here long enough. And, uh, it's not, well, well, then, in that case, what I would like to do is I'd like to give you a gift to show that there's no hard feelings. I know, like... So I know that, we didn't reach anywhere. But, um, well, I think, I think... You gave me things to check. Yep. I like that. I didn't give you anything to check. No, nope. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> next time maybe. Next no, no, time. but I mean, you you look like you have had your uh, share of all these uh, uh, discussions. Yeah. And I, 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 your argument is I don't know how you're telling me. Okay, you should be honest with yourself, but then you're telling me that you're not recognizing that a defeated nation uh, that doesn't even doesn't even, I mean, you have uh, agree that nation states are a best option to have. Now, I'm saying Muslims have decided. People we, accepting a reality is not the same. No. You I, should, did you agree on that or not? No, what you said is, was it about survival? And what I, I pointed out, and what I've pointed out to you is that that means that the majority of Muslims are choosing the nation state as their best means of survival. So that is allowing your criticism of my argument and still pointing out to you that it, we've de demonstrated conclusively that the ijma is on error. Yeah, Habibi, the ijma is that scholars did not do consensus that this is the best, uh, that this is the right what we are on right and now. And so, so now we come back to the, the, the next point that we, I wanted us to move on to about 20 minutes ago, yeah. which is that where do on what criterion can you decide the scholars because we have a criterion in christianity to identify our leaders what is the criterion we have the chain of scholarly tradition that's what we have and it goes all the way back to the prophet Muhammad which is disputed among shia and sunni and the third shia group whose name i come in yeah. Shia is a minority. And we've already demonstrated that the majority can con co coalesce no, no, around no, error through the nation state. We have not demonstrated that, no. So, so, one of, so one of your criteria now is this idea of succession, right? Right. So that was, where, that was the bit where I said, oh, you're just borrowing I mean, look, a Christian when you're argument. you telling me apostolic succession, yeah. it, it sounds to me like the scholarly succession. Yeah. You see? But the difference is... How many, uh, what I would encourage you to... The difference is it's not... Uh, it's not it's not quite the same you know it's not like the bishop appoints someone right yeah it's the church appoints just so you know it's not the bishop it's the church oh, so they vote on it no it's not a vote oh. the church the, the sort of elected from above so the bishops will decide this is a good candidate to be a bishop they make him a bishop they lay hands on him then he is a bishop wait, wait can you say that again so the bishops yeah. elect who is going to be the bishop and they raise him up oh, oh. and then they lay hands on him publicly so all the church can see he is a leader and then he is appointed a leader of the church it sounds nice i don't know how it's really implemented yeah <laughs> well it, it is implemented anyway, I, I really have to go. okay Thank what's you your name uh, omar omar it was a very pleasant conversation you know? Thank you very much. And you know, I, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and the, the very name, civil way you've conducted your yourself. Name? Bob. Bob. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank I'd you. like to give you a gift just as a as a thank you. Do you have a Bible at home? Yeah, I have multiple. Yeah, multiple Bibles. So you don't need another Bible no, then. No, I will. I will not 
give you a Bible. Let me just uh, have a look at something else then. So, this is looking at, you know, how do Christians discern? You know, we talk about the Holy Spirit guiding us and, and leading us. I don't know if you know that Christians do that. I'm still really bothered by uh, Paul Williams, you calling him a liar. He's, he's misrepresenting loads of scholarship. Uh, no, the man is honest. I don't like I don't believe so. No. I don't believe so. I, I really, I mean, I, I check the references. I am not stupid. I don't like you calling him a liar. He, but Paul Williams not only has run from every debate that I've challenged him to, but he is also presented as orthodox Christians, people who aren't orthodox. And uh, to my face, to me personally, he misrepresented N.T. Wright. What? N.T. Wright? N.T. Wright. He misrepresented N.T. Wright to me personally. Okay, I'm, I, I mean, if... Uh, I don't know about that. Like, I, yeah, what do you I do though. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not asking you to take account of Paul Williams' behavior, you know, but the, the thing is, he is duping his audience. No, I don't believe so. Yeah, I think so. But I will look at the link. This I'll is look at your channel. And yeah. I will see what you're see, watch about. See, watch the videos and where he runs. How can I reach you if I find that? I'll give you my email ones. address if you want. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah, have you got something to record? It? I wouldn't like it if I find out that he didn't misrepresent or anything. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, wait a second. Let me open my Gmail first. How many emails do you get? Uh, I've got 1,500 at the moment. I get usually about five, ten a day. Five, ten a day. So there is a chance you'll find me. Okay. Well, Hopefully, God willing. So uh, BTB. BTB. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Soco. S O C O. At gmail.com. Okay. okay. If I'm a bit rubbish at replying, please just bear in mind it's kind of like I don't do this full time. It's not like I'm sat there I in front understand. of my yeah, computer I understand. screen. I understand. But if you just keep, if, if you, you've waited too long and you're eager for an answer, just send the email with a nudge and bounce it back to the top. And yeah. eventually at some point, I'll catch it. NT right, you said, huh? NT right, yeah. Misrepresented, you say. Yeah. And he hasn't recognized that he is on. Um, he, didn't, he didn't say I made a mistake or anything. He, like that. he regularly misrepresents scripture on his YouTube channel. Regularly, he does yeah, but, that. But when you, you're saying to your face. To my face, he, he misrepresented NT right. And he did not, like. You, you, you confronted that? I have confronted him about it. I have said to him that yeah. he is misrepresent in, in discussion yeah. before he ran off. I have said that he misrepresents scholarship. Okay, and, then and I've said that to his face. Obviously, he denies it. But on, if you, but as someone who's seen the, some of his programs, he deliberately misrepresents what the Bible says to people like you. Uh, look, don't talk to me like I'm stupid. <laughs> like you were talking to me like I was some novice, you know. I know I did not. You could, you, you continue to insist. You don't talk to me. I have never made any uh, yeah. assumption or talked in a condescending no, way. No, you haven't, and I'm not accusing you of doing so. And I don't I'm, like I'm not saying like that you're stupid. I'm not a novice. I'm, I'm not I, saying I you're stupid. Say you're I'm not saying you're stupid. Okay, I never I mean, said you were stupid. I, oh, look, I'm a person that always checks the references. I'm always careful about what I yeah. say, about what I believe. I've done this my entire life. Okay, so here's a challenge for you. Huh. Find me a video yeah. where you think um, Paul yeah. represents the Bible faithfully in a way that supports Islam. Because he does it all the time on his show. Does it all the time. So find me one video where you're yeah. absolutely certain yeah. that he has not misrepresented the scripture and that that scripture supports Islam. And then I will give you a live example with evidence yeah. of how he is manipulating his audience. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's a, a fair, fair challenge, offer. eh? Yeah, yeah, so fair. you send me a video where you'll say you're 100% sure yeah. he has not I mean, it's not missed an easy out. job, but... He's <laughs> not missed out information. Yeah. He hasn't twisted words. Yeah. He hasn't obscured facts. No, no, that's, that's too much. That's right? Any video you're confident that you can use of Paul Williams, yeah. where he uses the Bible to support Islam, mm -hmm. and you think that that can stand up to scrutiny, and I will demonstrate I mean, to you a with a real example of how he's manipulating his audience. I don't think... I mean, look, using the Bible to support Islam is different than 
his criticism to Christianity and the Bible. I mean, most of the videos are just criticism to Christianity. Exactly. They're not there to support Islam. They blatantly are. I mean, if you're going to say that, then you're obviously... No, most of the videos are not there to support Islam. I mean, some of, sometimes... I mean, sometimes he says, okay, this is... Uh, this is more like the Islamic view, you know, like... Uh, yeah, sure, so, so give me one of those videos where you think that that is accurate and we'll talk about yeah, okay, it. Okay, that, that would take some... Okay, I'll see. Yeah? Because okay. I'm telling you, he is manipulating his audience. Yeah. And I, I will demonstrate I it with so. a real example that you choose. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, yeah? thank you both. Alright, lovely to speak to you. Omar. Here's your gift. This is for you. Thank you. Have a book. God bless. So, guys, we... Um, ha Let me do a, a quick wrap-up. Okay. Off camera, we ended up having a conversation with Omar. We started off talking about a Christian government and the idea of how Christians build a government and make a separation between secular society and religious society and how we separate secular from religious within the Christian faith. And from that, we ended up contrasting it to the Islamic idea of the caliphate. And Islam is built upon a circular reasoning and the circular reasoning is who do you identify as the scholars because the scholars are, are essentially just the people just the, the people that the mass corral around but there's no criteria in the Quran and Hadith as to how to identify who the scholars are however there is a system in church government about how we identify who the leaders of the church are. They must be appointed by church leaders publicly, L hands laid on them and then they are sent out as apostles, as bishops to go and found other churches or to lead other churches. This is how the Apostles did it themselves when they appointed the, the replacement to Judas. In other words, the Christian faith has a system of church government for the New Testament community. But in Islam, Muslims split Shia Sunni and then there's a third group whose name I can't remember based upon, based upon the fact that Muhammad didn't appoint a leader, clearly. And that's why Shia and Sunni are fighting about who the leader is, and they're fighting about who the scholars are. Because there is no Islamic criteria laid out, and all the justifications, whether you're Sunni or Shia, are made post hoc. They're made after the event. And that is what we're seeing in Islam. And one of the arguments that the brother used was this idea of Muhammad's statement that of Ijma, that the Ummah would not have Ijma on anything but the truth. They wouldn't have consensus apart from consensus on the truth. But this is demonstrably false. This is such a bad way of deciding what's true or not. The idea that the majority decides what is truth is a ridiculous system of epistemology. And it's proven even within Islamic terms that this is a bad idea. Because right now, in the 21st century, across the entire Islamic world, both Islamic governments that are allied to the West, like Turkey and Saudi Arabia, and Islamic governments that are belligerent to the West, like Afghanistan and like Iran, are all operating as nation states. And those scholars are speaking to defend the existence of those nation states and the majority of the Muslims accept the nation state and when I asked the brother for evidence that the most Muslims reject the nation state he was able to provide none none at all the reality is that you have consensus in the Islamic community beyond something that isn't Islamic the idea of the nation state so Muhammad's own criteria has proven to be false, to be wrong. By contrast, Christianity was born as a minority in the Roman Empire. And we took over a socio-political and economic system 
that was existent before the church emerged. Which means that the Christian church is not tied to any economic or political system at all. We simply Christianize whatever economic, uh, economic and political system exists. So, in other words, Christianity works with any form of government, whether that's an emperor, a king, a dictator, or a democracy. And we seek to make whatever that is Christian, like we did with the Roman Empire, like we did with the medieval kings, like we did with Franco, like we did and like we are trying to do with liberal democracy. By contrast, Islam without the caliphate doesn't exist fully and completely. And that means that when most Muslims accept a, a non-caliphate system of government, they have ijma consensus on something un-Islamic because there is no criterion to choose their scholars. And they have a system of government that does not work and has failed. That is why there isn't a caliphate today. That, my friends, is the wrap-up. Any questions? <laughs>